All right, so I'm just gonna go back to Unreal Engine and here what I'm gonna do is that firstly, I can just simply uh, create a new level. You can just create a new project and you can just go to um, games. Actually, I'm just gonna create a new project for this um, because I think that's gonna be uh, more easier to, for you to follow along. So I'm just gonna go to games, blank, just create a blank project. Uh, now I would recommend you to turn on ray tracing. Uh, this will require an RTX graphic card. If you have one, then be sure to turn it on. And it's gonna be, uh, it's gonna have some performance costs as well. Uh, but if but if you can afford to um, use this, then definitely do use it because it does give you uh, slightly better results. Uh, I'm just gonna be setting it to blueprint and the quality preset should be maximum. And desktop seems to be fine. Just name it whatever you want. I'm just gonna name it um, cave underscore SS for Skillshare, create. And now when you're opening a project for the first time, it is gonna take some time, especially if you're using ray tracing, um, but I'll see when it's done. All right, so my project has finally opened and what I'm gonna do here is that first game is gonna delete everything um, because although we could use some items, but I'm just gonna be creating everything from scratch, delete everything. And alternatively, if you already do have a project, which I, what I usually do is that I simply create one project and I just make new levels and I just keep creating my art in one project. Um, so what you can do is simply go to file, new level, and you can just create an MP level if you want. But since I already do have an MP level opened, I'm just gonna not bother with that. Uh, so let's just, let's just go to our content browser and let's just stock it in the layout because we're gonna be using this in just a bit. Um, and so for the lighting, first of all, I'm gonna be done with the lighting, right? Uh, just I'm just gonna be creating a basic lighting setup using the environment light mixer. So I'm just gonna go to window and environment light mixer. And I'm just gonna create a, I'm just gonna create a skylight, atmospheric light zero, create, create sky atmosphere, create volumetric cloud and create height fog. Now I'm not gonna be creating another atmospheric light because one is enough um, and we don't, don't need anything else. And so you're gonna see, it's gonna give you a basic boilerplate um, uh, lighting setup, which we are gonna be tweaking later on. Uh, but for now, I think it's fine. Okay, so I'm, next up, what I'm going to do is that I'm simply going to be creating a shape, which is going to be a cube. Now, this is going to be um, our floor uh, for the cave. So I'm just going to be scaling it like that. And I'm going to be scaling it up. Now, the scale, you need to be careful with the scale. Um, you have to make it really large because um, usually what happens is that um, I end up making things very small. And then I have to go back and just extend everything, which is a huge pain. Uh, so I think something like that should be good. I think that's a little too big, maybe a little less. I think something like that should be fine. All right. We can obviously extend this or reduce the size later on if you want, uh, but I think that should be fine for now. So what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna press Alt and I'm gonna be moving it up, something like that. This is gonna create um, the roof of the cave. However, we are gonna be making some tweaks to this, uh, but for now I think it's fine. And I'm gonna be moving it down right like that. And let's just rotate it to make the walls. All right, uh, and the other one, I'm just pressing Alt. I'm just holding Alt uh, so that I can duplicate these. So now what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna select both of them. I'm gonna move them slightly like that uh, to actually create new copies. And then I can just simply rotate them like this um 90 degrees like that and i'm just gonna have to place them properly just like that perfect all right so now we have our whole um cave blocked out uh but now we're going to be making some tweaks to this obviously because right now there is no opening at the edge so what i did uh for the initial project was uh that i just created um an opening right here which i then used um as the path for the sunlight and so what I'm gonna do is that I'm simply going to be moving this like that. So this is create an opening. And, but now what I'm gonna do, what I'm gonna to have to do is that I'm simply going to be selecting both of these and I'm gonna to have to move them down because obviously we want to create an actual opening, right? And so next up, what I'm gonna do is that, I think it's a little too small. So I'm just gonna move it like that. Something like that should be good. And then I'm gonna press Alt and duplicate this again. Move it right there something like that, and I'm gonna be moving it right there. So you can obviously do this in any other 3D software as well. And I think it's gonna be easier and easier that way because you, you're not gonna to have to create um, separate objects. You can just go to the edit mode, for example, in Blender, and you can just simply edit the vertices, but I decided why not just keep this tutorial inside of Unreal Engine um, because, well, you're here to learn Unreal Engine, aren't you? Um, right, so we have our opening ready. 
Uh, we can obviously tweak this later on. We can make it bigger or smaller if you want. Um, but I think it should be fine for now. Let me just make it slightly bigger. Perfect. Uh, now let's position our sunlight properly. So I'm just gonna say I'm I'm just gonna be selecting my direction light. By the way, just save your project before we do that. Right. So I'm just gonna be selecting my direction light and I'm gonna be rotating it like that. Something like that, and I'm gonna be rotating it like that as well. Just a second. Oops, I'm actually <laughs> rotating my skylight, which is not something we want to do. Uh, I have to rotate my direction light. I think something like that should be good because uh, our stair is going to be right here. And I think that should be pretty good. Perfect. Uh, so now one thing which you're going to be noticing is that our exposure is set to auto, right? So if I just get out of this, you're going to see that it becomes darker. And if I go inside this, you're going to see it becomes much brighter, which is not something we want. We want to set the exposure to a constant value because uh, so that we can accurately tweak the materials and we can accurately um, like get to see how our final image is going to look um so i'm just going to be adding i'm just going to go to visual effects and we're going to be adding a post process volume um and so what this does is is if if i simply go to exposure and if i set the metering mode to manual and if i set the exposure compensation to say five or if i just change this do anything whatever what what which i want you're going to see it's going to do nothing but if i just go inside this post process volume you're going to see it's going to take effect and if i just get out of it you're going to see it's going to re return back to normal. Uh, so the post process volume only works inside um, the volume itself. So there are two options. You can either increase the size of this to cover your whole scene, uh, or you can just simply search infinite and just check this setting infinite extent unbound. And now what's going to happen is that it's going to be affecting uh, the whole scene, no matter what. And I'm just going to be moving it down so that we can get it out of the way. And one thing which I'm going to be doing is that I'm going to be increasing the exposure compensation because it's very less right now. I think 10 should be fine maybe even um 14 that's too much 13 should be fine i think but we can obviously tweak this later on and we most probably will tweak this all right so now our basic um blocking out is done and let's start with the mega scans assets